Why does temperature affect sound quality? And does it? I mean, really? This question is, a, is the first time I've ever been asked this. And it's from Gian in Italy. And he, he writes, I've noticed over the last years that my listening room downstairs has a winter temperature of 15 degrees C, fairly chilly. When I start listening, uh, the sound is crispy, present, brilliant, transparent. When I turn on the electric uh, heater, the temperature rises to 22 to 23 degrees C, kind of comfortable, and the overall sound has changed. It's more confused, the main difference is less brilliancy, sound is opaque, like a curtain between me and the speakers that choked medium high and uh, uh, ranges. Jim Smith, our good friend, in his book Get Better Sound, uh, quotes the phenomena, has no precise answer on the true cause. In a private email to me, he recently told me he is now forced to constantly keep his listening room at 66 degrees um, so that it avoids any kind of sound uh, shifting. Um, well, first off, it, it is a phenomena that is accurate, and it's not just temperature. It also has to do with humidity. But let's, let's, let's focus on temperature. First, first off, understand, and I'm sure you do, that sound is moving air. Loudspeakers pressurize the sound in our room. If you have a piston that's moving back and forth, whether it's a ribbon, electrostat, dynamic, doesn't matter. Whatever that piston is, as it pushes it, it's compressing the air, and then it's creating a vacuum. So compress, vacuum, compress, vacuum. And that gets sound waves moving through the air. Obviously, there's no sound in space. <laughs> what was, I just, I'm sorry, these things always just bring up something in my head. There was a movie a long time ago, the original Aliens, and when, when the original Alien came out, it was probably before a lot of your times, with uh, you know, Ridley Scott's film, it was scarier than hell. I remember going to that and just frightened to death. They, they actually, I think that was the one where they, where they, for a publicity stunt, they hired nurses in case somebody had a heart attack. I mean, yeah, right. But anyway, one of their ads on it was, you can't hear someone scream in space. And it was a space movie. Okay, so I think that was, that was pretty cool. But, so we know it takes sound to make, uh, it takes air to make sound. And the temperature of the air determines the speed that sound travels. So if memory serves correct, at room temperature, sound travels at about 346 meters uh, a, a second. And I, I, I think I had a note here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sound travels at 346 meters a second. If you take that down to a very cool temperature, it drops down to 330 or so at freezing. So cold sound travels less quickly than warmer sound. And the hotter it gets, the, the faster sound travels because the, the uh, molecules, the air molecules are excited. At that, that's what heat does. It excites uh, molecules into greater activity and energy. And sound will travel quicker with excited uh, uh, molecules than it will with <laughs> unexcited. They got their coats on, see, they're cold, so they can't move as quick. But, so it is a fact that sound travels differently at different temperatures within rooms, and, and this isn't so far-fetched. Um, so a fairly warm room, sound's gonna travel a lot quicker. Now, why would that sound worse in your room? That's a good question, and I don't have a good answer for that because um, I just I don't know. I notice the same thing when in Music Room One, when I first start out, the sound is it's it's a little sterile, and over time, as the room heats up, when the BHK amplifiers start, you know, pumping out watts and creating heat within the room, the sound to my ears gets better. And, and in yours, it gets worse. So to me, 
A, we've explained that that is a phenomena that is absolutely true and accurate. What you're hearing is right. And, and B, I'm going to have to guess that it has something to do with setup. So perhaps I set my system up in the heat of the room, very likely. I mean, when I set systems up, I get everything going and playing, and it's been on for quite a while, and then we roll our sleeves up and we get on to the business of, of system setup and tweaking and tuning, and that's, that's days worth of work. Very careful listening to my whole collection of music, and it takes a long time to do it. So that's under warm conditions, so perhaps the answer in my case is all my setup was done in a very warm room and I got the perfect sound within that room. That's probably why when I first start out and the room is cold, it doesn't sound quite as good. It sounds different. Now we know it makes sense. Sound is traveling at different speeds and it's not just the time it takes to get to our ears, it's, it's also affecting the reflections and everything else that's going on in the room. In your case, maybe you, maybe you set it up when things were cool and then they don't sound quite as good as warm. So as an experiment, and I would encourage you to try this and then email me back, paul at psaudio.com, um, let your room warm up to 22, 23 degrees and then readjust your speakers. Maybe tow them in just a hair more um, if you, you say it, it's kind of confused. Um, well, I don't know what we would do about confused, but uh, sometimes pulling them away from the rear wall. Uh, if they're too close to the rear wall, you can get muddled sound. So maybe pull them away from the rear wall a little bit. Uh, mess around, try a few things and see, and then email me back.